What's up everybody? This is Kenya Online Media, your number one source of entertainment news. My name is Eve Nyaga and kumekuwa na stories in a trend hapa na pale. We saw Steve Oltimpo boy ame collapse during an interview. Well, apparently PSA hii amefukuzwa kwa nyumba yake na tunasikia amerudi ghetto. And there have been so much news hapa na pale, hapa na pale. And with me today I have his former manager. I understand he is his former manager right now and atakuwa aki to clarify some of these things. Aki tuonyesha pia evidence ya conversations wamekuwa ki have na Steve Sim Simple Boy familia yake so that we know exactly what is going on with music career Steve Simple Boy na kwa life yake pia ye mwenyewe chingi boy kwa aje niko poa na shukuru labda wewe pia mi niko fiti karibu sana KOM asante sana nyinyi family mm -hmm. yeah. okay so tueleze umekuwa aje wacha tuanze na umekuwa aje kwanza Nimekuwa vibaya, nimekuwa na ma stress, matusi, kibao, nini, mambo mingi tu. Mm. Mbona watu wana kutusi? So watu wana nitusi kusu mambo na stivo, kwa nguka chini, nini. Story me nigeukia sasa. Yeah. <laughs> Wamekugeuzia, we ndo the bad guy? We ndo the bad guy hapa sasa. Mm. Sana tika utueleze hizo vitu zote kiundani utu. To, to, wa Kenya wajue what exactly is going on. Na nataka kuanza na story ya, you know, after he collapsed, um, time yali kwa menda interview, what was going on? Nini li happened waka collapse? Okay, mi nasema hivi na bado nitasema, kitu lifanya Steve collapse, familia yake inajua, na yu hata mi sifai kuongelea na suwezi ongelea, familia yake inye inajua. Yani, auto yuktu ambia nini li mfanyikia? Wa Kenya wali kwa nasema ati Steve was simple boy, yali kwa nanja. Hai, sumu ambo nanja, Sio mambo na njaa, njaa itangushaje mtu. I love Steve. Ujai, ujai yu si njaa mpaka unasikia kizungu zungu ya kuanguka? Mwenye, ale, figure show yake na energy, nini. Unajua, kitu hiko, before Steve wa enda hata hiyo show. Atu kwa in good times, but mi mwenye nilienda pale. Nika mpikia, tukakula, tukashiba, ndo tukatoka, tukaenda show. So mimi kwa mambo na njaa, po napigia canceling kabisa yao. So umesema uta tuambia what exactly happened. Ndiyo ya yeah, faint. Kamile yake ndo inajua sasa hiyo siyezi ongelea kabisa. So after that incident, watu katha wali kama utu wakasema wanatuka kusupport Steve or Stimpo Boy. Um, kwa sababu they were thinking that um, he should focus more on content creation. And one of the people who came out kusema atam support is our very own director Trevor. So tell us a bit about that. Ali reach out kwako? Eh hey, director director Trevor acha acha tu hata kuhusu hapo kwa 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 mambo na content hata hiyo siku Steve ali ali collapse director Trevor alifuatilia sana mpaka mpaka asubuhi yake so after hapo ni kama alika chini akaona kitu inaweza faidisha maana yake pia amekuwa na boys yeye pia anajua wenyewe huyu boys yes anapiga hizi stuff lakini hapa apati kaki haimlipi yeah, I'm lipi. So, ye, yeah, alikachini. Unajua director Trevor zito katu huko. Akuja seme mambo na nataka sti, ku, kueka stivo kwa content au na vila tafanya. Kama ajaona vile stivo, anaenda na shuguli zake na kama zinaingiza do. Yeah, so, director Trevor li ni reach out. Ali ni call kwanza, tuliongea karibu two hours. Tukiongea hiyo mambo. Mm. So, um, unasema kuna watu wali misunderstand director Trevor kutaka kusaidia Steve or Simple Boy. Kuzi kuna watu wanasema alikuwa nataka kumanage, but alikuwa nataka kufanya nini exactly? Mimi director Trevor kuniambia nataka kwa manager wa Steve O, of which arajua mindo manager wa Steve O. Alambia, bro ni aje poa. Tuneza saidiana kwa hii Steve O, mini msaidia kutengeneza content na ma ideas. Manaki hata... Hata mimi hata mimi na wao sivyo vizuri tunajua director Trevor ni mnomo kwa hizo mambo na content nini hizo ideas so akaniambia hivyo but hakuniambia mambo yote yeye ku kwa manager wa Steve aliniambia anataka kusaidia Steve kwa mambo na content creation Steve at least mziki apigange tu lakini content sana maana yake inaweza uza hata ukiangalia vitu za Steve zenye wanga zinaenda sana ni hizo content zake so mziki Mm. Okay, there, there are other people who came out as well. Kuku, um, kusema wata msaidi ya Steve Simple Boy. We had um, Flacco, we had um, Ogo Obina. So did they come through? Did you have a conversation with them? Eh, hey, hey, Flacco, Flacco ni boys mzuri. Flacco tuliongea. But sasa unajua mtu alikuwa. Ni tu familia Steve O, manake hondo alimchukua. So anampia nikitrae kufatilia Steve O is my time walikuwa wanamwepesha karibu na mimi so 
Flakoa li reach out ikashindikana mpaka kaniambia na mbona wanamkatalia na sisi tuna try tu kusaidia eh, sisi tuko tuna idea poa na boys hatuna ni yote mbaya ogobina pia akanitafuta akaniambia bro aliambia tu kweli kwa hii mziki ya Steve sioni kilipa mimi pia naweza wasaidia kwa chochote kile mtataka Steve agro sana ki content mziki apige tu lakini kwa content uh, agro agro zaidi manake na kaina zaleta pesa si kitu tutafanya once unyamazi utafanya ikiendelea so gobina kapanga apa, by the way mtu mwingine mwenye pia naweza penda ni muappreciate ama ni big up ni pretty vish pretty vish anatakia sana stivo mema eh pretty vish anatakia sana stivo mema hiyo ndo kitu watu wanafaa wajue but watu wanaona ni kama pretty anatumia stivo but yule yule demo anatakia Steve mema. Mimi nilitry sana kuwakutanisha but Steve alikuwa ataki. Kuna siku I think hata tumekulus deal ya 1.3 million kwa sababu Steve ataki kuwa na Pretty Vish. Pretty Vish ndo alitafuta hiyo deal. Akapata hiyo msena namba yangu. Steve ali cancel. Atukupata hiyo deal. Hiyo siku Ogobina akaunda akaunda akaniambia acha nionge na priti atakam through ambaye content akaniambia content ya kwanza tutaanza na Steve na priti sababu wanakubalika sana wakiwa pamoja nikamwambia basi sawa mkuu akaniambia panga Steve kutafuta Steve naepeshwa tu watu wataki nionge na Steve naepeshwa mm. um ningetaka kujua nini ilifanya utake ku manage Steve simple boy kutaka ku manage Um, Steve mimi mwenyewe alinitafuta. Unajua mimi hiki kitu sijaanza ku mambo na ku manage. Okay, nilikuwa msani na nimewak na artist kadhaa, nimewak na mzee wangu Solomon Mkubwa. Tumewak na Rosmando kuna artist mwingine TZ anaitwa Sara Magesa. So ni watu nimewak nao. Steve alikuwa anaona kazi zangu na mimi niseme Steve alikimbia kwangu wakati sasa amelemewa. Yeah, ni hivyo tu Steve alikimbia kwangu wakati amelemewa amekosana na MIB amechoma huko so MIB pia mikasirika i think the same same kitu imenifanyikia ndio ilifanyike MIB MIB likasirika ikatoa mambo na rent so Steve akapatiwa notice tanafa kuhama so after hapo akanitafuta mimi pia after kunitafuta mtu nilikuwa naye karibu mwenye alikuwa naweza msaidia haraka ni MP wa Mumia Peter Salasia nikam reach out na alitusaidia kwa kweli alisaidia mm. So ata ile time yenyewe alikuwa na fallout na MIB bado ali withdraw rent yake ni nini nini ikabidi amerudi home. Ye yeah, ukweli una nani ukweli angerudi Kibra manake singe kwa angerudi Kibra familia yake si pia iko na wako na kitu. Familia yake haina kitu and pia unajualisha mess na yule manager Vaga. Vaga pia ni mtu mpoa sana lakini nimekuja ku notice nizi mambo za Steve Mob ndio ile wakosanisha na na huo manager. So in your opinion umesema kitu yenye ilifanya Steve Simple Boy akakosana na MIB na manager wake pia na wewe ni the same thing. Ni nini exactly nafanya mnakosana? Ni the same. Sasa mimi unajua mimi naweza sema tu kweli familia. Familia kina Steve tangu ni connect Steve na Salasia mpaka wa leo. Ni vita tu mara na kula pesa za Steve. Unajua vile tulikutana na Salasia after nilimkola kaniambia nipeleke Steve. So nili nili eh, tulienda tuko na nae alafu tukarudi home Peter Salasia akanipigia akaniambia unaona nisaidiaje boys nikamwambia mwesho simpatie pesa nunulie vitu ana hii na hii na hii na hii ukweli Salasia alikuja akafanya shopping akanunua vitu za Steve akwa akwa nazo kwa hiyo nyumba akazileta na hizo vitu bado ziko pale mpaka saa hii yeah. So um nataka kusoma quote flani uliandika on Instagram ulisema kusaidia mtu hataki kujisaidia pia ni ngumu utasaidia mtu um, utasaidia mtu ukiumia yeye ako tu sawa napigwa vita na familia na bibi ya mtu ah nimechoka <laughs> yeah so hebu tuambie um, what what will say this is a cryptic message but i don't think it is a cryptic message kwa sababu Uh, you are talking about Steve Simple Boy. Bado yani ni familia yako imeku push to that limit mpaka uamue kuandika message kama hiyo. Yeah, kwa sababu unajua hata wewe tuseme unanisaidia 
lakini familia yangu inakupiga vita eti wewe unakula pesa yangu sijui nini wewe sijui unisaidii sijui nini unajua utagive up na utagive up kama mimi mwenyewe sikupatii backup nisemwe hapana hivi wewe ni mzuri wewe ni hivi na hivi so Steve ongei Steve ako sawa mimi najaribu kupambania Steve but Steve ako sawa yeye ako tu smile ako tu sawa hakuna kitumbana haoni kitumbana hiyo so ndo mimi nikasema nimechoka after ku try kufuatilia Steve sipati access yake ikienda siji wapi kwa nyumba napata ni ndugu zake wako huko kwake buruburu so ro yangu ikashoka nikaanza ku feel nimechoka maana yake mimi pia ni kijana mdogo anajitafuta and nilikuwa nasaidia Steve na kumbuke Steve ni yeye alinitafuta si mimi nilienda nikamtafuta so mimi nilikuwa na try kumsaidia ni disappoint kijana maana yake aliniaminia ali believe in me so nilichoka ndo maana nikaandika ile message nilikuwa nimechoka roho yangu ilikuwa imechoka sana napigwa vita kila mtu hazi elewa unajua unaezelewa tu kiwa karibu na mtu kama Trevor anaezelewa watu wako karibu na mimi wanaezelewa ni energy gani nilikuwa naweka kusaidia boys mm. ni ukweli alikuwa amefichwa na the brothers ah si wale kuja wakampeleka kibra nikataka stivo au sawa akimtafuta kina Trevor kina nani si alikuwa kibra na kuna mtu yote alikuwa anataka ni mrich na patu asijui ngojea 2 weeks kumbo wakienda kwa meeting zao wanasema wanitaki yeah. so hivyo ikamesa na Steve alafu watu wana try kuiweka ni kama ni oh chingi hata mambo na nyumba mimi siusiki mimi siusiki kwa hebu tuambie story ya nyumba hmm? story ya nyumba si mimi ni cancel tu rent after kuona simsa ni wangu anaka kwa nyumba nikasema nani walikuwa anaka kwa nyumba si brother yake nikasema nikamwambia keateka kata mimi silipi tena siwezi lipa sikakatwa so sasa yeye amerudi home So mimi sijui kama amerudi Kibra. <laughs> Nasi kamerudi Kibra lakini tunamuombea tu. Inshallah. Yeah. Um, umesema the main problem ya yeah, Steve Simple Boy ni familia yake. Na kuna watu pia wanaweza fikiria like um, na, o, o, okay kuna kuna pati yenye umesema yeye hizo vita zikiendelea yeye ako tu msmiley. Yeah. Yako msmiley. Hebu yeah. tuambie unge expect afanye nini? Mimi ninge expect Steve asimame. Na mimi unaona siku ya mwisho sasa kikuja kutolewa kwa nyumba. Mpaka alikuwa analia. Akakuja kwangu kwa sababu brother yake alikuja na hasira hata hata kuniongelesha. Akakuja kwangu nikamwambia wewe enda tu kawasikize maana yake brother yake alikuja na vita pale. Aka akaniambia chingi wewe na je nikamwambia enda tu wasikize. So sikujua kumbe namreleza kawasikize kumbe inakuwa ni story kubwa na geukwa na geuzi wa mashida. Mm. So ndio kusema Steve Simple Boy hana msimamo wake. Asante. Steve Simple Boy hana msimamo. Hajui nje anafaa kufuata. Na ataumia unajua kizidi hivyo ataumia maana kama unaona the same issue ndo amekuwa nako kwa ile management nyingine ndo amekuwa nako kwa pili na sasa kwangu pia nakuwa na hiyo issue. So nilitry ku avoid sana isikuwe hivyo lakini ni issue ni issue imeforceweka kwa hivyo. Yeah. Ukisema uli try sana ku avoid like what measures did you take to make sure hamjako sana vile alikuwa sana na managers wake wengine Eh hey, Steve tumeishi sawa na ungekuwa mtu wa karibu ungeona mimi nilikuwa kama bro kwa Steve achana sana u manager nilimweka kama bro naweza hata nikiwa na mplesa na choma fadhali nijifaida naongea na simu tunaongea sana naongea kijaluo maana yake ni mjaluo sana ongea na simu na jifana ongea na mtu kumbe na mtoa hapo ndo asichomi yani ilikuwa ni yaki bro Yeah but at the end of the day asante apunda ni mateke but sivyo si mbaya sivyo sema tu anachukua anga maneno za watu alafu ndo hivyo na hiyo ndo kitu inaumiza boys mm. so angekuwa na msimamo wake unaweza kuwa willing to work na yeye tena time yenye hakuna interference ya family maybe maybe manake mimi nilikuwa namtakia mema maybe lakini sahiro yangu imechoka lakini maybe mm temenye director Trevor um temenye director Trevor ali kama utakisema anataka kumsaidia Steve Simple Boy na akina Ogaobina na um pretty pia as well and anyone else who came out wanasema he is good anaweza fanya content creation are you of the same opinion 
Ya, kwa sababu mziki hakuna. <laughs> mziki hakuna. Mziki nikikawa ndio kwa bias audio moja ni 15k siju tu wafanya ngoma siju karibu kumi. Na YouTube sija withdraw hata shilingi na sema 9000. Sasa surely si ni afadhali afanye content. Mm. Lakini chingi si mmefanya hadi song na yeye. Eh tu si tumefanya song actually song song ilikuwa yangu tulikuwa na babo wino nikasema acha niingize boys wangu pale tu tu promote yani unapata yes mi nafanya tu kila kitu ili stivo pia aside kitu kivi yake unapata kama hiyo hiyo song idea ilikuwa ni yangu na babu wino but sasa for the sake ili ka stivo ndo pia ikue at least na aliongelewa mimi hata chingi hakuwa kwa picha ilikuwa ni Steve ametoa ngoma na babu nini of which ilikuwa na furaha kwa sababu ni msanii wangu unapata bado tu balance ya YouTube ni 10k hata naweza onyesha hapo unataka kutuonyesha naweza onyesha kama kamera inaweza zoom naweza onyesha alafu umekuwa in communication na Steve simple boy yeye mwenyewe wanamuepesha ningetamani sana nisikize Steve sadi yake anasemaje kama yeye pia anasema namtumia ukweli nitakubali Steven snitch na Steven mtu mbaya kwa sababu kama nilikuwa namtumia angeniambia na niambia hapa tuna mess unafoni fanye hivi na hivi na hivi but kama hakuwa rich nikiona tu size Steven amesema nilikuwa namtumia najua hiyo ni maneno amepangwa na watu kwa sababu watu wana drive akili yake yeah ni nini exactly ulikuwa namfanyia kama manager kama manager kwanza kijana alikuwa ajui kupika nilikuwa namfundisha kupika <laughs> at least saa hii anajua kupika ugali uji mayai pale hata siku moja baada ajui kupika uji anajua kupika chai anajua kupika tulikuwa tunakunywa chai lakini chingizo zinamsaidiaje kimziki apart from music sasa <laughs> kimziki tulikuwa tunatoa song actually latest song in sel kwa tutoe ambayo pia nilingangania sana kupata ni collab yake na msanii fulani wa South Africa yule mwenye mpiga ngoma na Diamond Platinums mboso ni kadem fulani mwenye saika na kuja mbio hiyo ndo ngoma latest ambayo ilikuwa tutoa ambayo najua ile ingetoa Steve at least pale sasa tungeanza kukula vizuri mi nimekuwa nikicheza kama aja kuwa na shows watu mmekuwa mkiona kwa mtandao aja kuwa na shows nimekuwa nikimsimamia rent kijana anakula yani kuna tu vitu watu waoni unajua Mtu aseme Steven ateseka na hakuwahi kuja kuona life Steve alikuwa anaishi hapo. Sivyo mwenye aje kuja aseme ndio maana nimesema nangojea. Aseme ndio nimuone vile ni one grateful. Mm. Nangojea kuja aseme vile alikuwa namtesa alikuwa anateseka. Ndio nione vile ni one grateful. Mm. Si mara ya kwanza tumesikia watu wakisema managers wa Steve wanamtumia. Wakisema hivyo ni nini wanamaanisha? It is Steve anakuliwa pesa. Unajua kitu watu wajui kwa na followers ama kujulikana si pesa. Eh, yeah. kwa na followers ama kujulikana si pesa. So mimi siwezi ongelea managers wengine. But sasa watu wakaangalia reason ya vaga after kosa na Steven waangalia reason yangu. Ni vitu tu same. Unapata. Ni vitu mimi nilipata kama Steven ameisha. Unajua kurudisha msanii ufanye hizo vitu zote si kitu rahisi. So mtu asitoke tu anasema Steve anatumiwa nini wengine wakiona Steve anaanza kutrend anaanza ku create stories tunaona anga Steve akiteseka kama ulikuwa unaona si ungekuja umsaidie unatoa story kama na trend ndio ifanyikeaje hiyo si kusaidia mtu ku trend na jina mtu si kusaidia mtu mm. okay so um, tukimalizia kuna watu wanauliza um, msanii hata manager je msanii mwingine ai <laughs> Kwani aje sasa? Kwani? Kwani msanii haezi manage msanii mwingine? Sasa kare unaona sasa vile sasa hivi mambo yamemess. So sifai kuendelea na kazi yangu. Kazi yangu ilikuwa usanii unasikia. So mimi nilikuwa nimwambia nilikuwa na support Steve. But apart from hiyo niko na wasanii wengine hata nafa ku launch msanii mwingine pia. Inshallah mtakuja mni support. Nani una launch? Hai msani msani tu mfiti msani mkubwa pia lakini sasa tunamtoa TZ tunamleta Kenya. Yeah. Okay, all right. A final word to Steve Simple Boy. Hmm? A final word to Steve Simple Boy na familia yake. Okay, mimi tunaweza ambia Steve hivi. Yaani Mungu 
Bariki simple boy, umpe nguvu na nema pia. Yeah. O baba fanya upendavyo. Yaani Mungu afanye tu vile anapenda kwa Steve Simple Boy. Ambariki, ampatie neema, ampatie fever na amuepushe kwa watu wanampoteza, amweke kwa light kwa sababu watu watachoka na yeye. Na Steve ajue miaka inasonga, miaka ikai hapo. Na Steve Simple Boy mwingine na kreatiwa. So opportunities zako nazo ache kuharibu akikuja kila saa kwa Kenya. Na tu, those sahi hajakuja eti anatumiwa. Saini stories zingine stories zingine zinakuja. So Steve acha kusikiza watu. Wewe jua we kwanza jikretie ni nini unataka? Wewe kama wewe kwa maisha yako ni nini unataka? Age yako inasonga uko 34 years unaelekea 40. Unachoka utaisha ukishaisha sasa kuna mtu atakuwa anataka hata kukuona hata kupiga picha nawe so jua kitu unataka na life yako mm. thank you so much asante sana if mungu akubariki na bariki <laughs> bariki trevor um, so you have heard from the ex-manager was Steve Simple Boy. Yeah, yeah, amesema. It is the family that is causing all this problem. So Steve Simple Boy Maliuko, Jitokeze, Kenyans want to support you. So many people want to support you. Asanteni sana. See you next time.